project was inspired by these three pieces of earrings I had for quite some time and I didn't wear them because I didn't like them as I originally thought and that uh, ring which I purchased from different locations in the UK online from TJC and Gemporia and I decided to make one ring and three pieces of uh, earrings. This ring you see here is on sterling silver. All my findings are also all sterling silver and what you also need is pliers and wire. Even the wire is sterling silver. So I started using the pliers, flat pliers, in order to turn the sterling silver to 45 degrees and afterwards I used a round plier to turn into a loop as you can see here. <laughs> difficult to put all these pieces onto that ring and I was more successful off camera. Here yeah, how oh, is so difficult um, and I think I put 10 on one ring and then I put everything on the ring itself and I put the other 10 pieces onto the other ring and again uh, onto the main uh, ring. Now, I like very much this ring because it looks like a flower and the flexibility, the way all these are moving from one side to another, it was very nice. But I decided to further use a bit of a string in order to put them together and not to be as lost. I think the final look is very beautiful. I really like it and I hope you like it too. <laughs> To making the earrings I decided to buy from Amazon this box of semi-pressured stones uh, they're all very very beautiful and from this you can make lots of projects I think I paid around 21 pounds and there are different sellers some they sell even less than this so you have to be very savvy and do your research when you want to buy this kind of stuff whether it's Amazon eBay or from anybody what I also like is the fact that you can see here what item is which in case I forget some of them I do not know myself so I started making the first pair of earrings and for this I decided to use several uh, pieces of gems from that box. So what you have to think whenever you create this first to draw the design. These designs you are seeing here in the end I did not use them because they were much heavier and you are going to see the weight of each item in the end but you also have to consider the number of stones and not only the weight of the final project. If the weight is over 20 grams per earring well it's a bit high and 
and I started doing off camera these uh, earrings in order to understand if I'm going to like the final look. Also think of the distribution of the small stones and the big stones. This is very important. How many times you are going to rotate the wire and how many items you are going to be before you do a rotation. Also think of the back view. Is that important for you or only the front view? Because if you think of the back view and trying to cover the wire with lots of stones, then the weight of the earring will double. So think about this. Also what type of wire you want to use. Initially I used used a hard wire as you saw there. Now I'm using this soft wire because it goes much easier around this earring. This earring is a Rose de France and with sterling silver. I decided to use amethyst and opaline and all my wires are sterling silver. It's very easy to cover all the defects. So even if you make mistakes, it's easy to cover them with this wire. So do not worry much. Sit on ideas if you can't visualize the final look of your earrings or the ring and you might want to write down what is the weight of each item in order to check it with the other one or the length of each wire you have used. This is my first attempt and I'm pretty happy with it and I decided to even attach this heart which looks so beautiful. Again I had it in the house for quite some time. And this is the final product. I'm adjusting the stones in place because I used wires. This is the difference between using wires and using thread, for example, which you can't adjust as easily as with the wires. So you might want to think about this. The next project I did was to make earring using green agate turquoise and melting, which I have never heard about. It is that pink stone you see there. I decided to use a hard wire again in order to make that circle and it's, everything is sterling silver as I mentioned earlier on. You also need pliers of course and because I made a mistake, look, I'm just not bothered because I'm going to cover it with the stones. Now this item in the middle, I'm showing it to you although in the end I removed it because the weight of this earring came to 27 grams. So uh, in the end I decided to remove that V in the middle and the weight came to I think around 18 grams. The first ring was 12 grams because I didn't uh, use lots of stones and because the earring was much smaller. So think about this. And for this project I decided to put two stones, rotate the wire and put the next two stones. So you might want to put one stone, two or three stone before you rotate the wire. But you have to appreciate this according to your likes, whether you are happy with uh, this. final look of this earring. I touched that key and several bits in the middle. Now the final earring we are making is uh, using 
Opalite, Unicate and Ceregard. I have never heard of Unicate and Ceregard, so I'm hoping that I pronounce, I pronounce them rightly. And I made this design on an old earring with citrine, sapphire and labradorite. And of course I used sterling silver uh, again. I used half hard wire and soft wire for the stones. So here is the difference in weight. Look how heavy this earring is. 27 grams. That is why I reduced, I removed that to be in the middle. This one is only 12 grams, so it's not very heavy on your ears. And look at this one. I made one in advance. Look, it was very beautiful, but it's so heavy. Look at it. 31 grams. So in the end, I removed and it remained with 17 grams as you can see there just because i made some mistakes of course i'm not going to throw away the wires so this is the advantage as i said of using wires and i was able to correct the mistakes with those soft wires everything is very straightforward as you can see i also used some beads here in order to space my design um i think I think it looks much more interesting here. I can cover the mistakes, as I said, with the stones and the, uh, the other soft sterling silver wire. So as I said, do not worry at all about this. You just have to have all these items or purchase them cheaply on eBay or Amazon. And don't forget to check my next project is a nice set a beautiful set of earrings matching bracelet and necklace i made and i hope uh, will inspire you to as this project well with this in mind thank you for watching and have a very nice day bye